Hi, in this video I will explain use of super keyword. This keyword is actually used in uh, case of inheritance and another point this keyword only can be used in a child class. So whenever a child class uses super keyword it means it is referencing its parent class. So we will see uh, where uh, need of, where is the need of super keyword. So let's take a uh, class. This is a class class one with one uh, parameter x. So this parameter is having one uh, constructor and this one assigning value of x is one twenty zero. And then we are having a function to print it void show and this one will print system dot out dot print ln and one class x and here we will print value of x now <coughs> we will create one more class class 2 and this class will make it as a uh, child class of class 1 and if this child class also having the same uh, parameter x and we are creating a constructor and this constructor what this will do it will set value of <coughs> x 3 to 0 and here what we want to do is that we are having a method display so if uh, we see the concept of inheritance concept says when a, a class inherit another class so parent class properties which is their parameters and methods uh, those property will be available with child class as well so in inheritance everything will be inherited except constructor so this part will not be inherited in child class so class 1 will be having one parameter but in class 2 there will be two parameter one parameter which is coming from class parent, parent class and another parameter we have declared here but the problem is that both parameter are having same name x so how we going to differentiate between these two variables like if you want to access this x what we need to write if you want to this x what we need to write so for example say here we want to print <coughs> uh, class 2 class x which is x and if we write here if we don't know super keyword what we will do we will write here x so let's say uh, we are assuming that this code will work fine and it will print this variable value 320 here and 120 here now in the main method we will make a class ex void main with this command line argument which is string array and then we create object of <coughs> class 2 new <coughs> so when we create a object of class 2 what it will do constructor of this class will be called this is the property of constructor but if this is a child class constructor so what this constructor will do instead of calling this constructor it will make a call to parent class constructor and this constructor will set x equal to 1 to 0 so this x is the x which we declared in class 1 and then it will set x equal to 3 to 0 so we are having two x one value 1 to 0 another 3 to 0 so here if we call ob dot dis plny display so here if we make a call to display method so what it should print it will print uh, both value or it will print only the same value again so okay uh, there is an error in this program and uh, where is there there is here we have misplaced the string concatenation operator so again we have compiled the program okay so if you can see every time whenever we write x it is always referencing this parameter the parameter we have declared in child class so in order to access a parent class x variable we need some uh, special mechanism and that mechanism is using 
super so when we write here super dot x it means now this x variable refer x variable which is in parent class so now if we run the same program again so now it's printing two, 320 and 120 so one use uh, one usage of super keyword accessing parent class variable in case if child class also having same name variable so this is the one use of super keyword now <coughs> uh, we will make some change in order to see the second usage so here uh, we are printing something uh, default constructor here we write class 1 default constructor and say here we are making one more constructor with one parameter uh, and in this one we are printing parameterized constructor ok and same thing we want to ok and here uh, we want to delete this one because we don't need this now and in cl class 2 constructor we want to print class 2 default constructor <coughs> so here we are creating object of class 2 so as we know from inheritance concept that whenever we create a object of child class first parent class constructor will be called and then it will call child class constructor so here if we see the execution of this program so this is the command to compile a java program java c in the name of your program <coughs> and then java class name so here if you can see first class 1 default constructor is called and then class 2 default constructor is called so doesn't matter how many constructors are there in parent class only default constructor will be called so this is the uh, default way of calling constructor now if you want to change this behavior like say we don't want this constructor to be called every time what we want uh, if you want this constructor to be called so in the constructor of child class we will like this one so when we write super keyword it means we are referencing a parent class so the meaning of super is here one and we are passing here one parameter one two it means we are making a call to parent class parameterized constructor so here if we run the same program again we will compile it again we will run it again so here if you can see class one parameterized constructor so this is the second usage if you want to change this behavior of constructor calling that uh, every time parent class default constructor is called if you want to change this behavior what we will do in child class constructor first statement we will write super and then we will specify parameters so in case if we are having here multiple constructor so whatever constructor we want to call we will specify this super keyword using uh, with according to that if we make it super uh, without any parameter so it will be it will call this keyword so these are the usage of super keyword thank you very much